What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be discussing the mixtape collection G Shock watches. Let's check it out. Let's go. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we'll be discussing the mixed tape G Shock theme watch, uh, specifically the DW5610 MT G Shock mixtape watch. This was released back in January, actually, um, just recently, January 2024, and released in December of 2024 in Japan. Uh, the USA just recently got it. This one here is one of the four watch series inspired by the 80s stereo equipment and music theme. Um, the mixtape collection actually consists of four different watches. This is one of them. Um, the four different watches. One of them is a 5900. The other one is a GA100. There's a GA700. And lastly, the 5610, which is the one in front of you here. I will focus mainly or strictly on the 5610 because it's the only one I've currently purchased. And the one that I think looks the best of the four watch series um i wasn't originally going to get this watch but it was shown to me by an authorized dealer and um i kind of took a liking to it I actually fell in love with it after seeing it um one uh yet another example of one of those um quote unquote pictures don't do this watch justice whatsoever this thing is a beauty it's really pretty nice and the price isn't terribly terribly expensive considering um the design and all the material materials uh with this watch so this watch pretty much screams retro right it comes in a standard g-shock box nothing special with it there's a model number dw5610 mt for mixed tape one for black black being the main color here's your module and your manual 3525 is the module which is the inner components the um, electronics inside this particular watch comes to your standard warranty card there and there nothing special kick that to the side because we do not really care about that here's the 10 and here is the actual watch again the tag is included dw5610 mt-1 3525 is the module this is the di so this is domestic market this is not the japanese release japanese release nothing special nothing different it's pretty much the same watch um, but this thing is very, very nice. So let's talk about the design overall about this watch. The watch screams, it yells retro. It looks, it looks old, even though it's a new watch. It looks old. It gives you that vibe um, of retro colors and design, especially with the cassette player or the cassette tape. If you guys know what, <laughs> a lot of my viewers are over the age of 30. <laughs> Some are reaching 40 and 50. So you guys know what cassette, cassettes are. So I don't feel that old myself. Um, what truly really captured my attention about this watch is not so much the, dis the display or the design. It's more the band. But we'll talk about that momentarily. The, the, this bezel itself has got the black and gray. You got the protection there in white, the G-Shock in yellow. But this is not a black color be uh, bezel face. It's actually a gray color. You can, you can see the different tones there. This is the black and this is the gray, which actually looks really nice and gives you that retro vibe and that retro, retro design colorway. And then you got the cassette looking dial there with the kind of retro green DW5610 colors. It just, like I said, it just yells retro it looks very old very cool the black negative display with the positive um dials or or digits there it looks really good it stands out it's legible it's not that difficult to read at all um but especially with the with the cassette theme with the retro theme it just works really really well it got the great the great part of the top of the dial there the casio um 20 bar 200 meter water resistance shock resist even that shock resist just looks looks, looks old the adjust mode, start, stop, and light button are indicated there. So each one of those corresponding buttons do those particular mov movements or motions. Um, but yeah, looks really good. Stainless steel buttons on this baby. Retail, retail price for this one was $210, which is not too much. Not crazy. I know it's... 120 is a standard DW5600, approximately $99. So 210 is a little on the expensive side considering the model of 5610. I grant that it's not solar power, it's not multi band, it gives you basic standard. But the band itself is where 
I think the cost um, is accrued on this particular model. So let's talk about the band. The band is actually a combination of resin and also steel on this band. So it's, it gives you, I think the weight is about 83, 84 grams in weight. It doesn't feel heavy or terribly heavy, nevertheless, considering the weight of the band and all the materials that are included on this particular watch. All right, but you do have a beautiful, again, I couldn't, when I saw pictures of this online, I couldn't fathom how steel and resin combine and these kind of Jamaican looking colors will look good, but in person, they just work. They work well, you have a stainless steel, um, kind of a, I'm not sure if it's brushed, but it's a stainless steel silver um, band right there. They got the black resin, yellow resin, red resin, green resin, and then back to the steel with the combination of another black color there. It just it works really well. Then you have the steel um, three-fold buckle there, all right? And then you got the logo there, G-Shock logo, printed on the actual buckle, all right? See how it locks there? It's got a locking mechanism, so it locks, and you can actually unlock it as well. Um, you're not getting MRG quality. You're not getting Rolex quality band here. You're getting $210 worth of product, <laughs> right? So I don't hear anybody um, talking about it's not worth it. It's a, I think, personally, I think it's a, like a great watch, a great colorway. It's, it's very... Um, outspoken in terms of colors and it's uh, um, a great conversation starter you will be asked questions you will be approached about the color and the design of this watch and what it all actually represents because it's, it's such a different design it's such a different looking watch and it's not considered a limited edition but I foresee because it being part of a, of a collection series I think and I anticipate this model will be sold out and will be actually discontinued fairly, fairly soon. So if you're interested by any means, trust me, if you're on the fence, jump over it. This is one watch I think you should not hesitate to buy. Um, if you decide to sell it later down the road, it will not be a problem selling. There will be one of these watches that people will um, pass on initially and then with time they'll be like wait what what where, when did they release that watch and they'll be interested so you'll have no problem at least getting retail for your watch if you don't wear it um, or enjoy it and then sell it later on for a profit that's where i see this watch actually going which will be a profitable market um, just because of the beautiful design and a different colorway included with this watch all right, in terms of modes, this is a standard 56 ton, 5610, which I referenced early. So you don't get a lot of technology on this watch. You get standard um, time, home time, which is the day of the week, the date format on the top right corner, and then you have the date, the, uh, the time on the bottom there. Modes, you have the alarm, you have timer, which also keeps you informed of the time on the top right corner, and you have stopwatch. And then back to your home time. Nothing crazy. Basic standard G-Shock needs. This is not one that will wake you up. Won't make you any coffee in the morning. So you pretty much get what you uh, pay for. And the stainless steel and colorway on this particular model is what you get. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. Till next time, this is Chicago. Enjoy this video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you till next time. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm rocking my G-Shock. 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 I'm rocking my G-Shock.